So good afternoon. Today is going to be a day of fixing things, starting with this. The light in our kitchen currently does this. I think the upside down is trying to communicate with us. So obviously we've got to do something about that. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's ridiculously windy outside today. It's already knocked over the wheelie bin, which was pretty hilarious. Dumpling, what do you think to the wind? Is it scary? You seem to be watching the windows quite intently. Job done. So in the interest of personal development, I have promised myself that if I practice the piano for half an hour today, I will give myself a Mozart chocolate. Pictured here. So a few months back, I actually imported about a hundred of these and I have been eating them quite frequently. So I've decided that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna incentivize my piano practice by saying that I can only have it if I do half an hour a day because I think in the long term, that'll really help me get better at the piano, particularly if a chocolate incentive is involved. Now this is when the video starts to look like an unboxing video. Now all of these things are things that will solve problems in my videos, seeing as that's the theme of today's video. So let's start opening them up. First thing we've got is a wind muff for this camera because I'm sure a few of you noticed when we were shooting the Q&A the other day outside, absolutely terrible wind noise. So I've bought this so I can improve the sound quality and everything that I shoot outside because I do take this one out and about more than I do the others just because I can fit it in my pocket and stuff like that. I'll fit that as soon as this video is over. That's great. Now the second thing in here, I feel like I'm gonna need something else to open this up. Okay. This is a slightly sturdier gorilla pod because the one that this one is on at the moment, I've actually had to kind of glue together and I've got some pretty hilarious footage of this camera on this tripod failing as I'm trying to capture a time lapse of Doncaster Minster. Now it says that it supports up to a kilogram, which would be extremely handy because maybe I can use that with my DSLR. Who knows, we'll have to try it. They've got this sort of tendency to kind of droop with DSLRs when I've seen people use them. But this one, maybe this is a bit overkill for that one now, who knows. So there we go, that's another thing that will solve a problem. I will not get dodgy time lapses. Now this package is easily the most important one. I've been waiting for this for a few days now and I'm really excited about this. Yeah. I've been wanting to get this camera for so long now because don't get me wrong, the D3300 that I shoot on is a great SLR. But when I bought it, I was like, I don't need a flip around screen. I don't need good autofocus functions. I don't need lots of things, including the Wi-Fi that's built into it. Because most of the time when I've been shooting music videos, I've either had to have like Lizzie or Tim come out and actually go, yeah, you're in focus. Or I've had to put a mirror behind the camera. This is just gonna make things so much easier. Oh, ha, ha, ha. there we go. This will improve my videos no end. I've got to learn how to use it because it's slightly different in layout to my D3300, but I'm really excited to start using it. It fits on there. I think at this point it would only be fair if I started vlogging on this to introduce it to the setup. Now on this camera, I'm gonna fit this onto my point and shoot. And there you have it. That is what it looks like with it on. Let's go and test it outside and see if the sound quality is improved because it's really windy out there today. Right. Let's see if this is any better. As a test, I'm gonna to talk to you about our apple tree in the garden. We've got an apple tree in the garden. The apples are actually really good on it. <laughs> it's really windy. Usually at this time of year we pick the apples, but for whatever reason this year we have not done that. They are very, very tasty though. It's just usually a case of beating the wasps to them. Because they go crazy for them over the summer. When I first went to university, I turned up with a box of these apples. None of us ate them and they all went off. 
but I can assure you they are great. They're not cooking apples, they are eating apples, although cooking apples are still eating apples. I will wash this and I will eat it. And hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. It's really good. He's not even slightly bothered by the new camera, is he? So I've just started editing the vlog and I've just realised that I haven't really told a story today. If only there was something happening later that would make it more interesting. to you.